Okay, it's research time. Um, for this part of the persuasive essay, you should have already chosen a topic. You might have one or two you're thinking about, and that's okay. I would encourage that. Before we begin, the disclaimer is that I'm not necessarily sure where I stand on the uh, argument that I'm going to be presenting, and I might actually manipulate some things just so that I can show you different results you might get while researching um, and different angles you can take while doing that research. Most importantly, like we've been discussing in class, you must respect for all the other opinions that are going to be um, brought out to you, even if it completely goes against what you believe. Specifically, what we'll be learning about in this lesson is how to generate arguments for and against your opinion uh, by doing a lot of research on the internet. First step and I do this one first because it kind of gives you an overview of how people are feeling about your topic, and that is to look for polls, which are the results of surveys um, that have been conducted on your topic. If you want to find some websites that are good for internet research, you can just put in um, internet polls or something like that in the search window, and this is what I got on Google. And what you can see here is first one that came up is gallup.com and then down here was another place called polling report so I'm gonna check that one out it says that it's got state polls and the issue that I'm gonna be talking about is a state poll so let's go see what that looks like this looks pretty good it's called polling report.com uh, and over here I can already see that there is a poll which is talking about a current issue would you favor or oppose the United States taking military action against Syria in order to reduce that country's ability to control chemical weapons. And of all the people they reported, and what I don't like here is I can't see how many people they reported, how many they surveyed, um, it seems like most people oppose it, 51 to 36. As far as party lines, Democrats tend to f support it more. That's probably because you have a Democratic president right now. You'll find in the future when we have a Republican president, it'll be the Republicans who support it. Nothing new there. Um, independent people kind of matches what all people feel, but a little stronger on the opposition side. And then for Republicans, what a big surprise. The Republicans oppose it um, more than even the Democrats support it. So the only problem is, as I clicked on this site, I was thinking, well, I'm looking for a state ballot that was passed this year, a state law that was just made that is allowing people who are identifying with a different gender other than what they were born with to participate in um, any kind of school sports, which includes going into bathroom showers and stuff like that. And that's the one I want to be finding my opinion on. And when I clicked on state polls, I found out that I had to subscribe to this place. There was a fee. So you're going to find lots of free information. Don't ever pay for a subscription. What you see now is my favorite online poll website and that is gallup.com. They do lots of different topics on most any of the ones that you're going to find there's some kind of poll for it. And since I'm talking about that transgender issue I typed in transgender poll and so far it's such a current issue Gallup does not have it yet. They'll probably get one within the next couple of weeks so I'm going to keep checking. But for now the first one that I came up with was the question do you personally identify as lesbian, gay, bisexual, or transgender? There was the keyword. Not really going to help me for my report uh, it just shows you by state, including District of Columbia, Washington, D.C., how many people say they are one of those or how many people say they're not. So, not going to help me for this one. i got to keep looking. Here's another poll taken just over a year ago, November of 2012. And while I'm talking about that, you want to find polls that are pretty recent. You don't want one that was conducted more than two years ago because people's opinions can change, which I'll show you in just a second. But again... Um, this is just talking about how most in the United States say gay or lesbian bias is a serious problem. This is a little better because the um, the law that was passed is trying to address the problem that transgen transgender people face uh, when they're in the bathrooms and what they're supposed to do about it. So, most Americans, 20, uh, more than half, think it's at least a somewhat or very serious problem. Less than half don't think it's very serious. But that's a huge, almost 90% of people who identify themselves as, LBG, as LGBT do think it's a serious problem. Obviously, it's affecting them more directly. So I might be able to use some of the numbers here. 
And while I continue to do um, some more research on my topic, I didn't find one of these type of charts, but I do want to show you this because it could really be something that could work for or against your argument. If your argument is to support the use of marijuana becoming legal, uh, which I'm actually am still pretty much against, but that doesn't matter for this. If you look, way back in 1970, only 12% of the United States thought it should be legal, 84% no, said no. Over time, it's, gener it's gotten greater, those who think it should be legal, and it's decreased, those who think it should be illegal, to the point where they've now, in 2010 anyway, passed each other. I bet today this is even a higher number. Um, but this kind of thing can really support your argument. If you're someone who's saying, yes, it should be legal, whatever the topic is, uh, this is great evidence for you. Look, over time, people are becoming smarter, and they're realizing, yes, this is what should happen. Um, if you're on this side of whatever the issue is, you probably don't want to use this chart. Um, that's called spin, which is where you're being careful to represent what's going to support your argument. Um, but this is one that would not support it if you were talking about the legalization of marijuana. So hopefully you'll find a couple websites that have some good polls that can support your argument. The next way to find more support about your argument and to also come up with some more ideas about um, what your arguments are going to be is to find articles about your topic. And I want to caution you now, you have to be careful to consider the source, which is the web page. And is it a reliable one or not? Or does it have bias? B-I-A-S, we'll talk about that. Um, and while we're talking about that, this report, which is on my topic, it was written just a couple days ago, California Implements the First Comprehensive Transgender Law, so this is all what I'm talking about, um, comes from the Daily Sundial, which is an online magazine for Cal State University Northridge down in the LA area. So this is a university. It's going to be a bit more reliable um, than some other websites. And if I look down here, it tells me what the name of the assembly bill is, and that's going to help me out. Now that I know the assembly bill is called 1266, which is for short AB 1266, I'm going to search for that. And as I read through this article, I can tell that its author um, is kind of for the passing of the law. They're saying um, that it's important. They're quoting somebody who says it's important to recognize specific needs, talks about who introduced it. Later on, it does have one contrary argument, but for the most part, this article is all pro the passing of the law. And if I'm going to go against that, I don't know if I'm going to use this. There might be one way I can do it, and I'll talk about that later. I'm noticing on a lot of the websites that I'm finding, um, this is the Christian Science Monitor website. Nothing against Christian Science people, but I'm not sure if I want to find a website that's tied to a religion because they're definitely going to have a strong viewpoint either for or against whatever the topic is, and they may completely ignore most of what's being said contrary to that argument. Um, I've highlighted this section here because this is in the middle of the article, and it's the only time where they talk about what people who are against it say. And they're saying that some Republican lawmakers say that allowing students of one gender to use facilities and gender for the other could invade the other student's privacy. That's one of my big points against it. Uh, but the rest of the article is all about how good it's going to be and how it's going to help people, you know, which is fine. That's their opinion. Um, but it's been very difficult for me to find people that agree with what I'm trying to say. Whatever topic you're going to be writing about, you have to be really careful to define it. Um, and you'll be doing that as you do this research. One of my questions about this whole issue is how are the schools supposed to figure out what the transgender student, if, if, the, if the, what they're saying is right or not? Or does a psychiatrist have to do it? Can a student just come up in the middle of the day and say, hey, now I feel like I'm going to be this and I'm going to walk into that bathroom? That's one of the questions I have, and so far I haven't been able to find that answer. I will probably have to look at the language of the law and see what it says, which, you know, for some of you that might be boring, but I need to know exactly what it is Otherwise, I'm going to come off as a fool trying to argue against something, and it turns out that that's not, what's, that's not the case. Again, they're giving more definition here. They're quoting people who think it's great. Uh, there are some more conservative viewpoints that are saying that it's insanity. So I'm just still digging through here, trying to see what I'm going to use for my arguments. 
here's what I got when I googled AB 1266 law. Um, if you ever get some websites up here that are shaded boxes, like pink, I think, or orange, or whatever the color is, those are paid endorsements. And those are people who put in these little buzzwords. And if you type it in, like if you were to type recipes, and you got some pink things that say recipes.com, that company pays Google to be the first hit. So you've got to be careful when you go to those, especially if you're doing something for research, because those people are paying money to Google to be number one. If they're all white like this, none of these people are paying any money. That's just what Google has found to be the most popular website for people searching AB 1266 law. All right. Um, now, this is really going to give me some more precise information. I need to read this. This is for the California Legislators website. Here's a legalinfo.com. They're trying to explain it. So this is really going to help me understand more about what my topic is. So you might be wondering, what are my arguments going to be? Well, after all this research, I want to find two really good arguments that support my opinion, whatever that might be. And I'm also going to find one that the other side is going to say is their best argument. And with that one, I have to try to turn it around so it works in my favor. I might say, yeah, this is their point, but what really would be better is, or where they really are wrong is, and I'll give you those examples when we're in class, okay? Here's just another website, more specific about the law. Very current stuff. Um, when I was searching for this, this was only about 24 hours old. Yours does not have to be such a current topic because that might actually limit you in being able to find out information about it. Um, but it also will be, might be more interesting to yourself and others if you make it something current. Okay, remember how I was talking about bias. Here we have the Transgender Law Center. Nothing against that organization, but they are obviously going to be in favor of this law. Uh, and this is not just a... This, is, this title gives it away. Victory is what they're calling it. It's going to ensure the success and well-being of trans transgender students. You know, ultimately, I hope transgender students are treated better and feel more welcome at school. Everybody deserves that. Is this the right way? I don't know yet. We're still looking at it. Um, but just be careful. When you find websites like this and you start writing down, quoting what they're saying, it's not necessarily, or it is, it's not just somebody's opinion. It's somebody who's coming from one side. And that goes the other way, too. I'm not going to find the wehategays.org and use their quotes about how they don't want anybody to be included in those school things. It goes both ways. You have to be really careful to try to find a neutral side as you can. And when we're talking about that, I don't have a picture of Wikipedia on here, but they're becoming a very reliable website for information. Um, whenever you see those little footnotes on Wiki, those are all evidence to help support what they're saying. So it's actually turned into a very reliable website to help you gather information. Okay, so you've got some polls, you've got some websites. There are some additional sources that you can look for. You can find video debates on YouTube or other media. Um, videos about your topic. If you're doing global warming, lots of videos on things like that. Look for news reports if you're going to do the Syrian thing. Specials where things have happened on 2020 or CBS or 60 Minutes, all those things. Interviews with people who are involved in some of these issues. Those are all sources you can quote and bring into your um, into your paper. While we're talking about that, we will be discussing how you have to cite all your sources. So while you're doing your research and finding arguments, you need to write down information from the web page. And that will be covered later because this video is long enough, all right? So go out there, talk about, find out some more information about your topic, and good luck.